can you see us live in the thing? <laughs> yes. I think it takes a second. All right, cool. Well, then I think that it's happening, hopefully. So assuming that we're live. Hi, everybody. I'm Rachel. And I'm Steven. You're going to get better at this. I know you are. <laughs> like, Eventually. Yeah. Or maybe I'll just be bad at it all the time. That'll be the bit. That'll be the bit. I'm Rachel. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and I'm Steven. And, I'm Steven. <laughs> <laughs> and we are the Faint Divinities. Um, so we are a newer-ish um, channel here on Twitch. We also have a YouTube. We have a Twitter. We have an Instagram. We have a Discord channel. If you want to follow us everywhere, please do because we're just really trying to engage people. But we're here talking right now about Stephen did get very dapper and it's because he came from work today. Um, I'm less dapper. I also came from work, but I work from home. I don't have to do that. Um, but we are here today because as a channel, we talk about Daggerheart, which is the new tabletop RPG system from Darrington Press and Critical Role and very exciting stuff happened today. This was an unscheduled little conversation that we're having today. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely unscheduled but exciting. Yeah, we have other things to do tonight um, because we are going to be live tomorrow, actually, with <laughs> our session one of the game. But again, Daggerheart is in open beta right now, and they are releasing new versions. And I have never been lucky in terms of timing, although I do think that this is very fun because it's they fun. Yeah, they're one hundred percent. It's fun. Uh, it's cute. But they announced um, that version 1.2 has been what we have been on and version 1.3 of the system came out today <gasps> you were at very work exciting. during very the live exciting. i was at work i could not actually get a whole lot of looking done because i you know am uh, doing workly things but i did sneak some peeks and i was excited about some of the stuff i saw very exciting. Hey, just as a quick moment, hey, chat, if you are hearing any weird audio or if you're seeing any crazy stuff, feel free to let us know so that we can make adjustments in real time. Um, because That's the easiest way for us to do it. It would be so sick. You know, I, I love the feedback afterwards, but if I could make adjustments here, that would be great too. But moving on from that. Uh, so... They went live today, Matthew Mercer, Spencer Stark, talking about version 1.3, and I am very excited about it. I am also very nervous. Oh, yay! Thanks, yeah, Justin's yay. in chat. Hi, Justin. Um, so I, uh, I was watching it live. I was very active in chat. If you guys know me very well, I don't really talk about my online presence very much, but I'm Rachel Tensions like everywhere. Um, it is a long running gag for me because when I was a child, I loved RuPaul. I'm not going to go into it here, but um, I was very active. I was active in the Discord. There's a lot to unpack and I have communicated to, oh, with my cat. I have communicated to all of my players to at first, I was like, don't worry about it, guys. We're just going to run 1.2. But then I was really excited about it. And I was like, hey, if you have some time, if you might go ahead and do stuff, because there's some cool things in it. Um, they picked one of my questions, by the way. I asked a thing specifically about conditions, and they read it out loud. Very exciting. Very exciting. The divinities graced me. Anyway, um, so <laughs> how much do you know? How much have you heard, Stephen? I know you were working all day today about. OK, all right. Just no some like simple like reading like I was like, oh, highlights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So or, like because I read those like maybe an hour ago. All right. Well, then I'm going to listen. I, I do want to add the caveat here. I am not mechanics girly. You come to my tables for the vibe. I'm the arts and crafts dungeon master slash dagger master slash game master. You're always going to have a snack. I'm going to have a beautifully colored map for you. I am not mechanics girly, but 
I'm going to try. I'm going to try real hard. Real hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but you dig in with any questions that you have, um, and I'll see if I can answer them. I think that'll be a good exercise and practice for me. Justin, you're in chat. If you have questions, let me know too. Um, but the first thing, we're on the Dagger Heart channel right now sorry website excited, and you can see version 1.3 is live for those of you who are trying to get in there remember if you click play dagger heart you're gonna get taken to the area where you can submit your email for download and all of those things um there is however an area that i want you to be aware of I think when you go, it scrolls you down automatically. Scroll up if it does, because up here you have the surveys, but this is where your change log is. And this is gonna be the most comprehensive place to find it. Now, again, if you want the materials, you're gonna enter your email. It's gonna get that download. Version 1.2 is gone. If you didn't download it yet, and again, if you want to see the stuff, you need to be active now. They're gonna keep doing this, guys. Oh, yeah, and Steven, yeah. your your camera's done a crazy thing again, and I'm seeing an oh, Elgato no. thing. Um, I don't know if chat is also seeing that, but that's what I'm seeing. I don't know if hmm, I don't know if there's any way to fix that. Maybe nobody Give else is seeing that, and it's just my problem. I don't know. I saw it. I saw it. Okay. So we're, we're definitely all seeing the same thing. Then. <laughs> well, then let's just talk and I'll work. Um, okay. What's the biggest differences? Like, what did you, what was the like big takeaway for like, uh, was there any like major changes with how certain mechanics will work? Or is it like just more, a bunch of simple changes? Big big changes um oh, sure. by the way if you're in discord just be unsharing not unsharing but do your camera thing and fix it and see if you can get it back up but i'll keep talking about the changes there are big changes so i'm here on the change log right now um man it is just not working so weird um but anyway i'm here on the change log right now there are universal changes that are occurring so um first I would say the big ones, okay? We've got first damage thresholds. This is one of the reasons that I said I'm gonna This need is one of the ones I read. So I read this, uh, I read that the, there was a change to that and I was interested to see like how deep it changed within characters. It's, yeah, I haven't, I will be honest, I haven't looked yet. I don't know. Um, I really, I don't have an idea yet of how big this change is, but I, I'm hearing that it's significant. And this was the first indicator that character sheets specifically have shifted in a pretty major way. This is one of the reasons that I reached out to all of my players today and I was saying, hey guys, try to go ahead and get eyes on those new character sheets, build them out if you can, because there are significant changes. So your damage thresholds first and foremost, but this is the one that I want to point out to you. And this is big everywhere. Stress at this point, is different um first you remember that in the initial versions of our character sheets at level one you only have three stress that you can take right no more right. now it is six okay so that's a big one right out of the gate but also stress points aren't going to be uh, marked any longer for taking damage below your minor threshold um so if in the case that you I, I have some questions about this just because i get it i really do but i also think it's a little bit inelegant because if somebody hits your evasion then in my opinion that should that should hurt you a little bit um but now with this if it is below your minor threshold you're not taking a stress you're not taking health so nothing is actually happening to you. Um, so that's a big one. You have more stress and your stress isn't going to actually be impacted as much, at least by damage. They, Spencer Stark was saying something specific lately, like they've unlinked damage thresholds and stress. Um, 
but there's there's a different factor now. Ha ha, you're back. I don't know what you did, but Hi. I love it. You're Hello, back. Everybody. <laughs> Stressing I me out. Thing. I was stressed too. Very stressed. I was at a stress five. Not stressed. Let's Not talk stressed about, no more. Let's okay, talk about on, what that means, about. Okay? okay? Because yes. now if you have six stress points. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, if you're triggered. Yeah. Child. Two at least. Yeah. If you take, if you fill up six stress at this point, the big difference is that what's happening is you're going to become vulnerable. You take on the condition of vulnerable until you de stress. <laughs> so, um, this may be a big thing for stamina potions. You know, uh, I already thought that stamina potions probably were going to end up to be pretty serious items um, in this game. But now especially, uh, it really seems like since that's going to make you vulnerable, and I took notes of this. I have a whole spreadsheet of all my little notes and stuff. Of course, now who knows what my quick reference guide is going to be helpful for. But for conditions specifically vulnerable, all roles targeting the creature, including PCs, have advantage. So that is pretty big. Whoa. Yeah. So, and again, that might have changed. That's from my personal quick reference guide that I have not shared. And if you're some of my friends in the uh, daring, yeah, stress does sound like a kick in the nads. You're absolutely right, Gene Scream. One hundred percent. It's a big deal. And um, and again, I don't know that that's still what vulnerable means um, because that was from 1.2. That's why I haven't shared it. If you, again, are some of my friends in the Darrington Press Discord and you're like, Rachel, you've been creating this log. Well, first of all, you guys know that I'm not mechanics girly, but also <laughs> I knew versions were going to change. So I'll share it with anybody that wants it, but I don't know. I can't attest to the accuracy after April 9th today. So... Um, big one, huge one. Um, let's talk about, I, I kind of want to skip a lot of GM items specifically. I, by the way, I've learned that I say specifically a lot, guys. I'm really sorry. I've watched back that video. I say it all the time. Apparently I want to be very specific, but specific um, is good sometimes though. It's good. Um, yeah. Um, I do want to talk about the. <laughs> and I, please, any of my family who is religious, please understand. I am also spotting some typos in the version 1.3 files, uh, Spud Nugget, Justin. Absolutely, I am. Critical Role, Darrington Press, please hire me. I have technical writing skills. I could fix all of this for you so quickly. I want to do it now. I'm trying to get hired by you so bad. Um, notice me, senpai. I'm moving on. All right. Um, I could fix it. Anyway, um, lots, some typos. Instructions is written as instructions when you do the download file. It's a folder name. That one is easy to miss, but... I could help. Y'all did a great job, but I could help. Anyway, um, I'm moving on from this. I want to talk about something, Stephen. Talk to it. For any of my religious family, please do not get hung up on this, okay? Please don't get hung up on this. But dare they have... They have as part of this update said, we've simplified things by having the same account of certain items now, and it just makes it really easy. That count now for your armor, instead of having, I think it was, what well, it was three to use initially, three, it's six. Yeah. Your health, six. Your stress, it is in fact six. Yeah, it's six. Um, it's totally cool. I'm fine with it. Please nobody get nervous about this. Um, I think it's very funny because we all know that like, this tabletop RPG, Dungeons and Dragons, pretty. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Famously yeah. Uh, was, I mean, it was one of the major themes. 666, yee, in chat, absolutely. Um, pretty famously, Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> has always been correlated, even in Stranger Things arcs, to this community thing of it's satanic. And Dungeons and Dragons was like, we're just having a good time. Darrington Press was like, yeah, baby. No, they weren't. But it is 666. The chat was wilding today. Um, but 
that again is another big change to talk about is that you can see here with the stress points, they're going to six, right? With your armor, you're starting with six slots. Your health, I think, was already six. That's fine. It was, yes. <laughs> yeah. But we are on a 666 system, guys. Satanic Panic 1.3. Oh, my God. Woo -woo! I didn't. I'm so sorry. I didn't read it before I said it, which is a bad habit to get into with live streaming. Mm -hmm. But I knew you were safe. And that really rolls off the tongue. Satanic Panic 1.3. Like, it was a problem. So, um, yeah. big, big. Uh, for my GM people, you know, we can talk about this all day, but I love this. Fear now does, you have a choice. Ooh, sorry guys, that's going to be very loud. But you have a choice of what you're going to use with fear now. Um, instead of when your players roll fear, you take a token and something bad happens. Now you get a choice, GM move or fear. Easy peasy. We're breezing past that, okay? But um, love this. Love this. Yeah, Ridgeborn update coming for your AC. Absolutely. It sure no. is. Yeah, the Ridge Bros, as determined in session one, y'all might need to check a new one. Lots of stuff has changed, guys. It's going to be really important that y'all look through some stuff. But remember, we're Lucy Goosey. If we need to change backstories, that's fine. You, It's totally okay. Um, totally okay. Y'all don't have to be Ridge Bros, although the yin yang tree is one of my favorite it's things amazing. that has happened. Amazing. Yeah, I'm China. glad that we talked about that. Yeah. Okay. I love this inside. This is more manuscript specifically. It's not like at table. But now there is use an action phrase associated with moves that require a token. So a lot of people were like, what about when I move, but I don't take an attack or something else? That does, in my understanding, require an action if you're moving from a farther distance or if you're not doing anything else. Again, I'm not mechanics girly, but um, but they've added use an action to clarify throughout the manuscript now what that is. So my players, uh, that's there. Um, They've also added heart of the game rulings over rules. We were gonna be doing this anyway, just to be really well, always, clear. always, every every damn day of my life, I'm ruling. Uh, I mean, it, to me, it's it's always GM discretion at the table. I never like am one to to argue. Like I'd be like, oh, I thought it was this, and if the DM says no, I'm like awesome let's yeah. roll with it yeah. there's no reason to fight there's no reason there's no fight. reason it's a little fun make-believe time as long as as long as no one is being a can i say dick i'm gonna say dick as long as no one's being a dick it's fine you know it's cool yeah 100 um, all right getting so i really want to dive into the other big update that i don't see at the top of this and i know is down below because this is going to impact justin if you're listening kayla if you're listening chris if you're listening bring me home a sonic drink um but, <laughs> but no. you son of a bitch i can't believe you just said that just now kidding. i, I want the fucking ocean water that's exactly what oh i want i want God. the coconut we i have to move on no! but yeah. seriously though okay. if you guys are listening yeah. this is going to oh kayla i love you so much my best friend is Did in chat <laughs> um okay it's okay i understand it's all right i don't hold it against anyone um okay this is going to affect people uh advantage what do i do i don't have d12s accessible <laughs> to me it's fine I, I can explain it with my words it's um <laughs> Okay, advantage. Let's talk about what it was. I, I have dice accessible. I, absolutely. Perfect. Okay. It is it's so now. loud. You're really... So before. Before. Am I very loud right now? I'm very excited. I, I, uh, I before you had your 2d12 and you'd roll those. And then you'd add your d6 for advantage or disadvantage. And then you'd either add it to the or subtract it from it. Absolutely. Um, and the help mechanic? What is it now? Well, the help mechanic first, because it's all going to come into play. Remember that in the prior yeah, system, when somebody was helping an ally, they were using that same D6 die, and they were rolling it on their side, and that could oh. be added. So it's all mm -hmm. tied in together with the way that this is going to work, okay? It's all different now. Now, I had asked this in the Darrington Press Discord a lot. I had asked specifically, oh, there that word is again. Anyway, I had asked, 
shouldn't the number that you're rolling impact your hope? Because if you are, I know that it was helping the success, you know, you were less likely to fail the role, but you were still very light, just as likely to get a fear or a hope as you were before. I had asked that, but rules is written, R-A-W, raw. It, it wasn't impacting your hope. Now it very much is, but in a very different way. So the new system, Stephen, you have your D12s, you roll them, okay. and your hope yes. die is then going to shift, uh -huh. okay? Going forward, you are going to, if you have advantage, you're going to re-roll your hope die and take whichever one you want. And I say that specifically. I say that because you might choose to take the lower number. You might. Because what if your fear die is a critical? What if what if that role is a critical? So it's not always going to be that you're going to take the higher option. So again, just to clarify, now the advantage system, you roll your duality dice, okay? And then you re-roll your hope die, which is okay. your D12. And you take from the hope die rolls, if you rolled on the first roll of the hope die, a two. And on the second roll of the hope die, a 12. You get to choose which one you take. Most of the time, you're going to choose that high number. What this is doing, the reason that they talked about it this way is that it's giving more chances for criticals. It's impacting your hope specifically. So it's going to be very helpful. I love this. My brain is just having a hard time connecting with it because I had already immersed myself into the previous mechanism. Okay. Does that make sense, Stephen? Does that make sense, chat? Are we all good on how that works? It makes sense to me. Okay. Friends in chat, do you all agree? Um, all right. There for a second. What? <clears throat> what happened to you? I said I rhymed for a second unintentionally. You did, but at the same time that you rhymed, you started sounding like a robot to me. And I don't know whose internet it was, but we're just going to move past it. It's probably um, me right now. Yeah, you're super behind in my stuff. It's well, okay. that is that is cool. I do. You're good. You're know. good now. You're good now. Can Keep you going. hear me fine? Okay, okay, okay. I do, I do like the new setup for advantage. I do too. Okay, cool. Thank you, Jean Screen. Thank so does that so work for the same for for disadvantage? Yeah, I, the, with disadvantage, same thing. Um, you're so you re-roll your. Yes, you're gonna re-roll the hope die. So it's still the hope die. You're not rolling the fear die. You're rolling the hope die. This one, you are truly taking the the smaller number, the lesser number. Um, so. The, remember that with help, the help action, if a player across the table wants to help you, what's happening now is you roll your duality dice, that player rolls their own hope die, and you get to choose which one you're taking. So I can if this was the way it was in version 1.2, honestly, I think it would have always been very simplistic to understand. I think it's a little bit challenging for my brain, my smooth, smooth lizard brain to wrap around because it's changed from version 1.2, but that's a big one. Um, so that is their advantage, disadvantage. I agree. I I very much agree, Spud Nugget, a.k.a. Justin, a.k.a. Jimbo. Um, it does. It avoids the super advantage confusion from D&D &D 5e. Um, you, you're, you're not going to have multiple advantages or anything right. like that if that's what you're talking about, and I assume that it is. Um, but, yeah. So... That's a big one. Uh, that that is that is a really big one. Um, so just be cognizant of that. We're gonna go back up. I wanted to talk about that one because it's just so significant. Uh, but there is there are so many changes. Um, I would say that because not everything has changed, they've really clarified if something is being affected in the class, the ancestry, the community. Honestly though, all character sheets are changing because that stress and that armor. So you're gonna need a new character sheet if you were using paper. 
Also, I don't actually know if Demiplane is updated, and I've heard some suspicions that there's some bugs. So my players who were using Demiplane before, you might have to use paper at least for now. Um, while or, or you guys, fortunately, are the solid, solid players with GM background. Just double check that it's looking good, you know. They did add, though, adversaries into Demiplane, I think, which is very cool. Okay. So lots of changes uh, for Kayla, your bard class. One of your changes is that the rally class feature is different. I thought we might just look at that because we're here together. And this will also be an example of a new character sheet. So let's go ahead and open the bard class and this will train one of our players. Um, so, going down, you can see here, first thing right off the bat, you have six slots marked here on your armor. You have, oh, maybe the miner is always one now. I doubt it. Let's, you know what? Let's test that out. A guardian's going to have a high I doubt high. it. Let, let's check that out. Yeah. Because if it was one, that would make sense how the stress isn't going to affect it, but... <gasps> One. Oh. Mm. Guardians are strong. Guardians are pretty strong. Okay. All right. Cool. I I like that better because, again, in my opinion, if I've bypassed your evasion, I should you should hurt a little bit. I don't want you to be fine after I hit you. That seems sad for me. Not to be adversarial as a GM, but it did seem sad. Okay. Cool. So these <laughs> thresholds have changed, okay? So you are still, you're going to mark what those are. Uh, I believe, you know, you're going to do that. But then also down here, other big change. Stress, again, is starting at six. We have six armor, six health, six stress. Very big. Um, and then let's talk about the class feature. So before what this was was that bards in the previous version at the start of play they put a d6 again i should have had dice i don't know what i was thinking they they put a d6 on the oh there they are on the table and then they rolled them or sorry they started at a one and then each time that a fear was rolled for the table they increased it so on the first roll of fear it was a two and then a three all the way up to six when it hit six you got to rally your team i always do this motion when i rally the team um so let's see what it is now i have not read this yet now it is and i'm going to try to make it a little bit bigger so that people at home can see once per session, when the GM brings the action tracker into play, describe how you, oh, this is cool, how you rally the party as they head into the fray. Then give yourself and all allies a D6 rally die. Anyone can spend this rally die to roll it, adding the result to an action roll, reaction roll, or damage roll, or clearing stress equal to the rally die result. This is so sick. Kayla, less for you to track. And you get to help. So remember that an action tracker is getting added most obviously when there is combat. It could also be in like intense social situations or something. But if this comes out, we're about to be rolling with, um, we're gonna be rolling a lot and we're gonna be rolling with consequences. This is easier. You just get to rally the group at that time and everybody gets a little D6 to roll and then they get to use it. Um, great. And the, at the end of session, all unspent rally dice are cleared. That's easier too because the other mechanic was at the end, whatever your die was on would went into the hope pool. It was kind of crazy. This, uh, this is easier. This is better. Kayla, do you think this is better? I think this is better. How do you feel about this, Stephen? Um, I mean, I think that it just makes it e like more, it makes it not necessarily more usable, but it, it comes into play more often now. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Because it will be happening at like right away rather than like building up to. Because like what if a bunch of those things where like 
everyone was rolling really good with hope and no one was getting fear and then you just never saw it get activated yeah yeah pretty pretty significant yeah so um so first justin is saying by the way in chat that demiplane already updated his existing character yeah. to 1.3 interesting Sick. i wonder what it changed if there was any like selection choices oh it's changed some stuff for sure because we we're about yeah. to get into that um uh kayla's asking i love it is an action tracker just something that shows we're about to battle kind of not really yes you can simplify it in your head to that but the other important thing is if we were in person and i'm gonna do this in the games but if we were in person i as the gm would say hey guys it looks like we're about to go into some kind of situation that's gonna require <gasps> you know what it is you know in baldur's gate three when you click that thing to go in turn sequence because mm -hmm. your moves are now more important and you have to be really cautious that's what this is for it's for things that are about to be granular yes oh yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah yeah that's yeah. what this is that's I perfect that's the perfect way to describe it once again Baldur's gate three so good. Thank you, Baldur's Gate 3. What a fantastic thing. Larry and Studies and Sven, I love y'all. Um, but in play, what it's going to look like, just as a kind of sneak peek for tomorrow, is that as you, as characters, remember there is no initiative order. You just act when you want to act. I can interrupt and there are things that occur that might make me shoot, make it easier for me to interrupt. But not to go into details with that, when you guys act in any kind of significant way, I'm going to take a coin or some kind of whatever. This is just the reference that I'm using, but I'm going to use this and I'm going to place it onto the action tracker. And as more people do things, I'm going to add more and more. And then if it is my turn, I get to then use these to fuel my stuff. So the more actions y'all take, the more actions I get. I do not want this to become a, a point for you to say, oh, then I'm not going to act. No, because just remember, it's just balancing it. It's just giving me roughly an equal amount of actions as you guys get so right the, there's it. no reason for us to again not to be like confrontational mm -hmm. um between players and gms but like it's it's a game for everybody it's not just a game for the players it's just, yeah exactly double-edged sword scenario exactly, exactly yeah. it's great sword. you know it's um and and anyway so very excited about that let's um Let's dive a little bit more into the bard, uh, and not really the bard, be, but what I want to look at is uh, down here in, uh, because I already saw some stuff. Guys, in our equipment, you know how we've all been saying longsword doesn't make sense. Why is it weak? Mm. It's not anymore. Now the longsword, oh man, I wish that I could show all of it really up close, but it's a D8 plus three, and the short sword right above it is just a D8. That plus three, so they've done some work on the equipment. Yeah, We love to see it. I'm so happy yeah. that they're listening. They're listening and they're reacting. I mean, it's going to be one of those things that, we should make sure that we're not getting too attached to any specific version of it because it's going to change so much before it's like actually done. Yeah. Before we see like a finalized product. But guys, um, we are going to be experts. Anybody's going to yeah. be able to come to us and be like, what do I do? And be like, under which version? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> well, see, in version two. No. And the first version released it. <laughs> so. Maybe, yeah. It good. filed out in my dagger, dagger heart fire yeah. file. Yeah. Mm. So good thing for my players to look at here is your equipment has changed as well. You know, like I don't know about the features. I think they're probably pretty similar still, but the damage has changed. So just be cognizant of everything as you're going through. I wanted to show that as an example right off the bat because you know that the moment I downloaded this package, I jumped in to look at that longsword. I was like, were, how closely were they listening? Turns right. out, Spencer Stark, Alex Templitz, Matthew Mercer, if he's involved, which I think he is, Ivan Van Norman, Rowan Hall. I, 
I don't know who was listening, but y'all were lurking real, real good. Real good. Um, because, wow. Um, also, they were getting surveys. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we haven't gotten a chance to like really send in like a meaningful survey yet, but I am excited to fire one off after tomorrow's game. After tomorrow, I know. Because the first question, also request for the survey. Could you maybe remove the question at the beginning that's like, what when did you play and it doesn't have i don't think it had an answer option for i haven't yet i've read like everything but it is on the basis of playing i have feedback too but i've been waiting until i do it but anyway it's okay i'm just trying to play by the rules because i'm a paladin through and through every day of my life i'm a paladin through anyway okay so Everything has changed, though. You need new these. These pages, you need new quick reference guides because, look, the advantage, yeah. it's been updated. They were really mm -hmm. thorough. I know. Yeah. 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 You did a really good job. Yeah, Kayla. It's all right. I'm going to do it, though. But anyway, um, yeah, it's – it's um, it, they've done a really good job. I know that I was saying at the beginning that, yes, there are some little typos here and there, but honestly, the amount that they've changed – big so um vulnerable they've added they've they've added the conditions as well i don't think these were here at the beginning they've added the conditions because vulnerable matters spread. so much more yeah. yeah okay um so for, we're not going to go through all of this but these have changed too i'm pretty sure that um they have i was just was about a big one just looking at stuff for that actually because i'm Double checking character stuff on Doom Plane right now. Yeah, people people um, were not happy to see the orc, so I'm interested to read it. Sturdy. Oh, I remember what it was. At character creation, and every time you level up, raise either your major or severe damage threshold by one. Remember that before, what it was was roll a d6 on a five or a six, then you can use your armor without expending a. a whatever of it without marking a box yeah. i think this yeah. makes sense given that they I do gave too. us six well yeah especially since they gave us six now before it was like oh that saves you from your three armor slots mm -hmm. so like it made a lot more sense then but if they're gonna give us six like yeah this the... seems long term for the campaign and for a character playing in a campaign yeah. way more like helpful yeah, I think so too. Um, but yeah, so your 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 races, sorry, your ancestries, mm -hmm, they have changed. So please be cognizant of that. Take a look at what they are. Get your new stuff marked. Um, because yeah, there's different ones. I remember the fairy was another big one. Uh, this came up of like apparently before 1.2 i think when it was in closed beta they had some references to time like this will happen for a minute and as some of their closed beta feedback they removed time implications because in this game it's not as easy in dungeons and dragons fifth edition we are told that a round of combat is six seconds well that means 10 rounds of combat is a minute that gives us very easy knowledge and understanding so for 1.2, they removed time implications. They've added it back, though, because they didn't want it to be... They didn't want to be fear to be as punishing, I guess. So now fairies are marking a stress to take flight still, but it's a number of minutes equal to your level. Um, also, that flying evasion score has dropped. It was two. It's one now. Chris is not happy. Um, <laughs> yeah, the... Uh, the uh nimble uh, ability card for the bone uh, card oh, yeah. uh, codex uh, something else yeah it is it has changed now it's instead of adding your whole uh agility to your evasion you only add a half of it rounded oh. up oh yeah i mean for ridgeborn now it's it's you raise your severe damage threshold by two that's really a lot of what they're doing is they're changing the damage thresholds and yeah. no, and and because they the armor is doing something completely different now so can we talk about my favorite uh community because it's uh, chris's 
look at this one. Wanderborn. At the beginning of a session, randomly choose a different community card. At the end of the session, return that card and take this card back. Board game. Isn't that um, fun? Gosh, that is pretty cool. I've given him now the cards that I printed out because they're useless now. No, they're not. Um, but he so that he has an easy way to randomly choose one. So I trust him not to cheat. One. Um, it yeah. won't have the correct reference words on it anymore. No, but so he'll just we'll have to you know yeah. get that for him. But. but that's cool and so in keeping with the concept of a wanderer. I love that. I think that's great. Yeah. I, I do too. I think I think that's. Like, I liked the idea of the bag. The bag was cool, for sure. Yeah. But the idea of a wanderer being like, well, I'm in your community right now. Actually, now, tomorrow, I'm going to be in that community. And then next week, I'm going to be by the sea, so I'll be in the sea. Yeah, right well, now. remember, he doesn't get to choose. It is randomized. But, random, but, yeah. but like, even He's still like that, like... He picked up all the different things from everybody. Someone, um, Justin, if you are still in chat, somebody made the joke um, that like in the, again, guys, join the Darrington Press Discord. The, the Daggerheart community, it is so fun. I love all of my friends in there. I've made so many friends. Like they are really good at mechanics in a way that I feel like a little dumb baby all the time. I'm not going to talk about it. Anyway. Somebody in there made the joke of like lots of people moving out of the mountains. Heard the seas nice. <laughs> Just like that felt so bad for our ridge bros. I'm still fine with it. Uh, it be so less severe. Yeah. That's oh yeah, up. yeah. You're gonna be very hard to take those big damages. The big hits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's so great. Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, so let's talk, uh, Kayla, a little bit more about your stuff. Oh, you know what? We're really, uh, Kayla, I really wanted to use this to help you out. Let's look at Ribbit real quick. I don't think it's very <laughs> different, okay? You are still amphibious. You, you love a good swim. Long tongue, I think, is a little bit different, but it's basically the same. You can use your long tongue to grab onto things close to you. You could do that before. You can also mark a stress to unleash it as a finesse close weapon that does D12 physical damage using your proficiency. You could do that as you did before. I think the whole difference here, if I'm remembering correctly, is that now they say using your proficiency. That's a big yeah. change throughout everything is they've clarified whenever yeah, they... Because it was a big point sense. of conversation is that there wasn't a good formula. Okay, um, let's look at Kayla's Highborn background as well, just to help Kayla out a little bit. Highborn, you have advantage on roles you make to con consort, consort, consort with nobles, negotiate prices, or leverage your reputation to get what you want. There you go. I think it's the same. So your stuff hasn't changed a lot, um, but then going down to your skills. So you, I imagine, are still going Troubadour because this one... Oh, just to be clear, though, they they removed from the Wordsmith class the need to rhyme in roleplay. So it's a usable feat for you now. But I still think Troubadour is going to be better for you. When you take this foundation... Oh, thank God. You were doing Troubadour anyway, but uh, when you take this foundation, describe what instrument you are practicing. We know that Anora is a banjo player. Uh, go check out that Instagram post, you guys. I put, an, I put a banjo on it. doesn't matter. Um, you can use an action to perform each song once per long rest. When you play a relaxing song, you and any close allies heal one point. When you play an epic song, make a close target temporarily vulnerable. When you play a heartbreaking song, you and any close allies take hope. I don't remember if this is the exact same. The intention is all still there if it's changed. At all. Wow. What an aggressive chair. chair move. No. I, 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 don't, I, I had to get out of my rolly chair, so yeah. I wasn't like uh, the, the entirety of the stream. Me and Steven both realized that in the stream, <clears> I <throat> was doing this a lot, and he was going back. I'm here so. a lot, and I'm like way far back. Yeah, no, I, I had to get a hard back chair. My, my it makes chair. sense to me now why Twitch streamers have that reward thing that's like... Um, posture check because yeah oh my god i did not know how bad it was anyway okay glue some wheels on that chair <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right um so kayla i know before i think you were taking um the ice spike one here we go so book of ava was that what it was called before 
I don't know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> like, um, power push. I remember that one. Yeah, okay, it was what it was called. Great. Against a target in melee range, they're blasted back to far range and take D10 magic damage using your proficiency. This is what a lot of the changes are. Is they add the words now using your proficiency. Way better. Way clearer. Love it. Also, one of my suggestions was like maybe you do a little formula. P D. This is better. They say using your proficiency. They're so smart. Tava's armor. Use an action to spend a hope that gives a target you can touch plus 1d6 to their armor score the next time they mark an armor slot. You can't stack it on one creature. Okay. And then eye spikes. Same same thing. This is the same thing. Using your proficiency. You can see that's going to be in my head. And then you were using inspirational words, I think. You can imbue your speech. Da, 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 da. This is added if the tracker is active. If the action tracker is active, then you are going to place a token on it. So that is that is going to be where this happens, okay? this They've added a lot of language now where if something requires or if something is classified as an action, they're like, if this is out, make a thing go there. And that's helpful for me, certainly. Um, Clear stress, heal a hit point, gain a hope. So there we go. All right. Um, so there you go, Kayla. We did yours for you. You have to do the document, but that's it. It's pretty cool. It's not so bad. Okay. Um, but I think that really did showcase how universal the changes are they're hitting yeah. everything it's wild uh they gave so the the ranger the companion specifically the one i'm using it's changed. a new sheet is it a new uh -huh. sheet it's yeah you get a enter experiences for your companion now rather than like before it gave you like a set list of like fly strike run dash like that kind of stuff uh, now you're going to make experiences just like you make experiences for yourself. Are you going to surprise us with what those are or do you already know? I have no idea. I'm just finding this out. So it's probably going to be a I little bit of a surprise. Petition for one of them to be like not a chicken dinner or something that alludes to the <laughs> fact that you saved him from being eaten in the montons. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay. Or maybe um, I'll, I'll do a Lion King reference and make him a dinner. I love that. <laughs> but yeah, a, a lot of this really is just clarifying if there is a change to your class, what is it? If there is a change to your <clears throat> ancestry, it's basically all of them. What what is it specific? What is it particularly? <laughs> so in, in this case, you know, they said we updated all ancestry de descriptions with lifespans and other minor adjustments. Wait, I haven't seen it yet. Is it is it actually in here? I can't see it because it's so small and I need to get in there. I don't think it's in this. I think it's going to be in the manuscript. Thank goodness. Because I'm, I'm trying to... I don't want to know. I don't want to know how long these ribbits live. I hope it's forever. Okay. But um, I, I think that's important though. If they have made significant changes, functional changes, then they have listed this is where this word goes specifically. Otherwise, they have said everything is, is updated for minor adjustments. So that's a good rule of thumb if you are fixing stuff is that. That was just me joking. They would be like five E goblins. No, no, no. I I know. I was, I think, Justin, I already had it in my head. I've been thinking about this a lot because I, I love them and I need them to live at least a solid 20 years, you know, um, but I don't know what it will be. Okay, um, communities that were updated are these ones specifically, and then they have all the descriptions, um, and that's fine. So uh, I think we've talked about a lot of these things. They did, I haven't read this yet. I don't know where it is. I'm sure it's in the manuscript, but apparently they added a group role rule to help parties sneak through the castle together. Realistically, mm. what I was going to do was make y'all all roll at the same time. And I was going to figure out how many successes we got, plus how many hopes or fears. And if you got more successes, it's a success. And if you got more fears, it's a fear. And maybe it's a success with fear. But we'll see. We'll see what theirs is. I don't know. Y'all aren't going to be sneaking tomorrow, right? 
I don't know. Chill out. I, I am a, a, a monkey, and I have a chicken, and we could probably be sneaky. I don't think you could. <laughs> like, <laughs> your your dice as evidence for of that very loud. <laughs> Were they very loud? I, I have my dice roller. I'll have it out tomorrow. I also friends have uh, Wilbur, my chicken. He does. Little Bill. I love him. I love him. That rooster is <laughs> sneaky as hell. Oh uh. my god! It's like that's yeah. God, we have to make rules. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's very cute. He also matches you tonight. Y'all are both. He looking. does happen to match. I might have to wear something in blue tomorrow. Maybe. Is this nail blue? All of my nails are different colors, but I think this one is blue. So I match as well. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little These bit. These two are blue. All the rest huh. of them oh, are we're crazy. very blue. Yeah. Um, ha! Stephen. Ch oh, no. I'm not reading that out loud. <laughs> you almost got me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, I was thought you were going to for a Not second. Not today. Probably tomorrow. Um, you're not sneaking anywhere at dawn with that chicken. <laughs> I love that. I love that. That is 100% going to be how I'm going to use one of these fears is like, oh, the sun's peeking up. Here he goes. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. So, okay. Um the tag team role has not changed. Uh, it, it's the same. They just, I saw this in, again, if you follow the Darrington Discord, you, you've been available to all of these conversations. They used to not be clear of how many action tokens is it. It's one. It's only one. Um, and if it's a role with hope, it's the person who's <coughs> chosen that gains the hope. So nothing big there. Um, damage rolls, the big thing here is that it's just clarifying everywhere that it's damage proficiency. Also, I think the big one is that um, it always clarifies everywhere. Where is it? I'm looking at it for somewhere. I don't know. If, oh, here. Sorry. At the very top. Clarify that roll bonuses must be added before the roll. This is something that when I saw it, I was like, duh. But <laughs> I realized maybe not. Maybe not duh for newer players and stuff. Um, it is poor form for you to roll your dice and then find out that it was low and be like oh 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 but i'm adding my experience to it no because would you have made that choice if you had rolled well probably not yeah. someone at yeah. the table can't be like oh they rolled a six i'm gonna help no you clarify all of those things before as a veteran of tabletop rpg I know this. I, I was like, duh. But I, I I do remember this being a big debate in my early 5e days um, of rules as written. And it was like, this is just, don't cheat. Don't cheat. It's not cheating. But you know but what I mean? But maybe like a little bit. You just got to cheese it every once in a while. You don't. You never have to cheese it. Parmesan, yeah. cheddar, asat, asiaga, gouda. I would like some cheese. Uh, <laughs> I'm lactose intolerant. But I don't oh, like care. Cheese. Like doesn't. Okay. Uh, reaction rolls, the same thing. It's just roll bonuses must be added before the roll. Damage thresholds. Apparently now severe thresh. Uh, uh, um, sorry. There was, I don't know that we're going to be using this. I love it though. It was already in the rules. There was a, an optional rule that was if, if enough damage happens that it is double your severe is it really fair that you're still only taking three <laughs> um so they they had an optional rule that if that was the case you could just push it to four you know um massive so, damage yeah and so they're saying that is an optional ruling now but they're adding that okay well they're calling it a specific thing this is still optional not every table is going to take it but um uh, hidden condition while out of sight you must now spend a stress to become hidden so you have to take the hide action i think this is good uh you clear the condition if you enter the line of sight this is good for um for justin if you plan on doing any sneaking at all with your heavy hit rogue um but uh, attacks can now target hidden creatures 
which I love because that's a and d thing as well that has always confused me is that like they're like you can't target and you're like I, I, I can if I want, <laughs> but, but they're still made with disadvantage. Um, being hidden no longer gives you advantage on attacks unless you're a rogue. Good. Thank goodness. Rats. It was just free when out of sight. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, that makes sense. I see what you mean. Okay. Well, now it's not. Um, but, but also... Uh, I do like this last piece. You shouldn't get advantage on a sneak attack unless you are a rogue. You know, that's that's the reason you take the class is to be an assassin. I'll just be a stressful, tall dwarf. Yeah. Yeah. Four foot nine king. Four foot yeah. nine king. Um, okay. Uh, movement. Clarified that when you move as part of an action role, you can move before or after, not both. Great. Fantastic. Uh -huh. The way that movement works in this is basically if you are within close range, well, actually, you can move whenever. You can move from wherever. If it's close or very close, you can just move as part of your action. You don't have to worry about math feet anything like that if you're further than that you can still move as part of your action but you have to make an agility roll and if you fail the agility check then i might be able to say oh no you got halfway but it's all muddy and or if you fail with fear i might say oh i'm taking my turn now and the reason that you got prevented is haha it's an enemy and you get it um Gold is fine. Um, death moves. Revise the avoid death move for clarity. I don't think it's changed. I think they're just clarifying on it. I will say, I think the fungrill changed. I don't think that they can speak to everything anymore. I could be wrong. But what I've oh. heard is that now they eat you when you're dying. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That might be better. Yeah, here we go. You can draw the last circle of life. You can draw the last life essence from the recently deceased. When within very close range of a creature who marks their last hit point and dies, spend... Steven, you gotta help me out, bro. That that dice is crazy. <laughs> Let's see, that's why I don't pull them out. Or... I know. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a lot of chair, too. Yeah. yeah, pull the chicken out. Quar -quar! When within very close range of a creature who marks their last hit point and dies, spend two hope to describe what death ritual you perform and clear one of your hit points. A, sorry, I'm going to chill. A death ritual? That's <gasps> wild. So it's basically like the, the body is returning to the earth and you are the earth. You're nur being nourished by the fertilizer that is the dead thing and... For everybody to be clear, this is um this is sure it could be used for your player characters, but I imagine it's more important if you kill an adversary, right? You're gonna be able to get that. Um, so cool with a death ritual. What does that look That's like? Wild. This is again very caduceus coated drinking his death mm -hmm. tea you know from the ashes. I think he had that. He had the decompose skill, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was cool. That was some cool flavor. Um, uh, also, just while we're chatting, and I know we won't be on lo much longer, but just while we're chatting, the Wanderborn for Chris did take away his bag of stuff. As we all remember, he was going to use his bag of stuff for teeth. Um, the manuscript says, and I agree with this, anyone can have anything they want as long as it doesn't give you a mechanical advantage. Right. So he's going to have what effectively is, I'm not going to say bag of holding, but you know what I'm talking about. And it is one of the items I just can't remember. I think it's called an infinite bag in this game or something like that. Um, he's going to have one of those for teeth only. He can have teeth in there. I don't care. And if y'all, Kayla, Justin, Steven, if y'all want an item that gives you no mechanical benefit, but is fun, it's fine. Just let me know. You can have it. I don't care. You know, um, I'm not going to take this man's bag of teeth away from him. <laughs> so. No. Okay. He's a tooth fairy. He's a tooth fairy. Um, 
Okay, downtime actions are now known as downtime moves. They're really laying into the moves discussion. And I, I, I like that as a GM because they were called GM moves and it was the only thing called that in the manuscript. And I was like, what is a GM move? Um, now a lot of things are called moves. They're just actions that you can take. Um, I like this. I'm down. Um, um, we talked about the action tracker. General rules, multi-classing is different, but this is the equipment, change, damage, scaling. Good night, Kayla. We're not going to be on much longer, but you have Good a night. very good night. Excited for tomorrow. Um, Woo! Um, uh, again, armor, everybody now starts with six armor slots. Weapons, so the equipment, one of the things is changing. You can equip and switch weapons as an action. So just be aware of that. I don't know that y'all are gonna do that a lot, but um, the rest of it is really more so for GMs because it's the running and adventure area. It's the adversaries and environments area. I don't think that, you know, creating your world, customizing your game, this is going to be stuff I'm going to have to pay attention to. It's not going to be stuff that you're going to have to pay attention to. Um, but definitely download the package. Uh, there is a lot of new stuff in there. Um, weird stuff. There's now a vault sheet. That looks like this, where you can list your cards that you've taken. There is a loadout sheet. Uh, this is a page where you ha can list all of your different things, your ancestry, your community, your subclass, you know, the feature that it has. It's a cool card. I really like that. Um, but everything else is just going to be information that's changing. Um, and then they did, they do have both in the area for players that I want to, there's a folder called all V 1.3 updated materials. That's going to be your best resource. It has update instructions. Um, uh, and it has updated cards and updated sheets. All of that is going to be good for you guys. Um, but that's the big stuff. I mean, except for character specific stuff, I'm down. I'm down. Yeah. I didn't hear anything tonight that, rub me the wrong way or anything like that me neither um actually quite the opposite and spencer stark said it a lot in the discussion he said this is another attempt we're seeing now what the feedback is going to be from this don't think that we've changed it because we're like oh we now know the best way the most optimal way to do it and we're gonna do this that's not what's happening they're no. saying well, we've gotten some feedback here. Let's try this other thing, get the feedback, and then they're going to coalesce it all together into a great game. Again, call to action. If you want to play Daggerheart, if you're excited about it, get in now. That's how we're going to get to impact this hobby, you know? Um, I'm very excited. The thing that I am most excited about as part of all of this is that it is so clear it's it's been three weeks yeah, almost a month almost a month but so we'll call it a month um it's been a month they are being what is the word what is the word that i'm trying to think of um just workhorses it's not the the word that i'm thinking of but they are really industrious they're being so industrious about these changes and they are reviewing stuff and making really educated decisions. And in writing, you have that phrase that's like, kill your darlings. It's got to be so hard to write a game that you love and you've put all this effort into and then put it in front of people and people say, that sucks. And for mm -hmm. you to take it on the chin and make those updates. Wow, are they killing their darlings? I yeah. am. I am so impressed. Not that they needed to impress me but they do they need to impress all of us yeah they need to impress me because i have an action tracker um, you do. yeah that i think is the big span of it i know this was a lot of me talking but did you have any questions steven mm, 
No, I really just need to get into it and start reading it now. I think if y'all just are able to, and again, I'm from Texas, I say y'all get over it. It's inclusive. It's a great term, y'all. It's a great term. Perfect. Um, I think if you just build your character sheet, I'm pretty confident in what has changed here. Um, yeah. I think I'm okay. The The one thing I will note, the quick start adventure is not updated yet. Um, and I wouldn't have time to modify it if I if it was. So no. with your higher armor and more stress slots, it's very possible y'all are going to wipe the floor with these baddies. Um so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to hit you real hard. Um, well, we'll take it easy on you. <laughs> Thanks. I love the like stare down that we had there for a second. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am worried about the scaling. I can't wait till that gets updated as well. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyway, anybody in chat, uh, Justin, do you have any? questions anything we can talk about before tomorrow um anybody that's been listening along that has any questions just let us know but i'll, I'll be up late tonight so shoot them over to me on discord i'll have them but anyway um remember everybody uh this was an unexpected stream thank you so much those of yeah. you who came in it was so sweet I'm very excited glad we had as many uh questions as much talking on the chat as we did yeah it was so fun um but tomorrow is the real deal um i'm yeah. very tired i have a whole thing over on this side of my room that nobody can see <gasps> We don't have many people in. Do you want Kayla? Oh, she's gone. Ha ha. She won't see she's it anyway. Gone. I made little character standees for the for the, the players. Look at it. Oh, I'm so excited. Very anyway. adorable. Um, okay, so tomorrow we are doing this. Um, would like to see what a max or near max level character would look like to see what the characters might be progressing towards. Uh, apparently yeah. a super high damage threshold is what it sounds like. You have to yeah, yeah. Hit a thirty damage to do d three damage. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I agree. Um, but anyway, tomorrow is the day. Sorry for tapping very loudly. It's it. I'm stressed. I have to prepare more tonight, but it's happening tomorrow at six thirty Pacific, uh, eight thirty Central, nine thirty mm -hmm. if you Eastern slash nasty. Mm -hmm. Just because mm -hmm. I like to say mm -hmm. if you nasty is my favorite. If you nasty. Yeah, so if you are out there in the world and you're seeing this tomorrow, maybe I'll get it up uploaded to YouTube. Come see us. Come let me know if I'm doing badly. No, don't. Um, but come see us. Really just come to laugh with us because we're going to have a grand time and uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And if you want to just kind of, you know, be there for the, the train ride, yeah. the the hopeful destination arrival and not absolute train wreck um but you know tabletop rpgs uh playing with your friends hanging out and doing that stuff you, you never know what you're gonna get <laughs> just like forrest gump in a box of chocolates <laughs> so, damn right so all right well um well that's everything that we have again impromptu stream but thanks for showing up we'll see y'all tomorrow with our session one sablewood messengers so thanks so everybody y'all have a wonderful Yay. night um roll with hope happy adventuring and bye-bye <laughs>